be dining with anyone today? Uh, just me. We have booths open if you prefer it to the counter. Uh, the booth is all right. What can I get started for you today? Uh, just the coffee and the paper if you have it. Room for cream? Ah, uh, blank. Thank you. Um, sir, we require all customers keep smoking to the designated area outside. I'll make my way outside. I'm sure we can make an exception. Do you mind if I join you? I'm sorry? May I sit here? There are more open booths. So, you do mind? No, by all means. Go ahead. No, no. No, sit down. I won't bother. Looks like it's going to be a, a Mets White Sox World Series. I don't watch. Sorry. I understand. You'll learn to appreciate it. Highly doubt it. You're a Yale man. What gave me away? Your signet is blinding me. Did you do that whole Yale thing? The what? The Yale thing, you know. Oh, no, no. I was married. Was? Yeah, I was. And what happened? I don't want to talk about that. What do you do for work? I won't bother. That's what you said when you sat down. <laughs> Anything else I can get you, gentlemen? Um, yeah, I'm gonna need another cup of coffee, and can you let me know when it's 11.30, please? Of course. Thank you. I'll have one as well, please. Lots of room. Sure thing. So, are you a broker? I was. What happened? I was good at it. And now? Mergers and acquisitions. Ha! <laughs> the big leagues. That's what they tell me. Now, how do you like it? I couldn't tell you. First day. And you're... you're here? And it's almost noon. I start after lunch. Not exactly playing the market like I used to. You're gonna have to get used to expensive restaurants and golf course clubhouse bars. Well, I'm here. Just trying to keep it close. What's that? Your old life. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Come on. Young guy, good looking, educated. You can't tell me the wells run dry. It's not all it's cracked up to be. The broker's life. If that's what you want to call it. There has to be something that keeps you in the building. Not every job is as good as it looks. What about the girls? The parties? The money? You can't tell me Playboy's been lying to us. You read Playboy. Everyone's got their vices. Just mine aren't as vindictive as yours. Are you a priest or something? <laughs> no, no. So what line of work makes you responsible for my judgment? I'm retired. An army man. No. no I, wore, I wore a suit a lot longer than I wore a uniform. Well, I figured everybody your age enlisted. No, I went to school. It's a lot easier to spot one. If you got one. <laughs> I didn't take you for a Yale man. In the flesh. Well, what year did you graduate? You must have known my father. No, I, don't, I doubt it. So a Yale man 
who wears a suit and not a ring? Are you just going to keep me in, in anticipation? Some people are more than their work. Maybe I'll learn that someday. You will, in time. You wear that wedding ring like a widow, and I know that isn't the case. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, I've heard all the stories. You're not special here. It's kid. not always till death do us part. That's no excuse. People do things irrationally without thinking about the consequences. What, does that bore you? I don't enjoy people looking at me in my eyes and being cowardly. Oh, I'm sorry I don't entertain you. What would you like me to say? Not many people I know are still wearing their wedding ring eight months after the divorce. How do you know? Have we met before? No, I promise you would have remembered. Circumstances change. I moved on. And I'm not proud of it. I understand. She got sick. And you didn't think she had much time left. And you didn't have the strength to stay with her to the end. And now you think the brave thing to do is to buckle down and just move on? Well, what do you suggest? Do what you should have done eight months ago. Trust me. Sir, it's 1130.